Welcome back everybody. Thanks for keeping it here on WCI 3 this morning on this Saturday morning. We are taking a look in Charleston off to the west where last night we were uh, watching a tornado worn storm kind of rip through uh, the west side of town there. And uh, that storm was kind of the big one of the nights. That was one of the few that we know for sure did produce a tornado in it. Uh, what I'm going to do here for a little bit is just kind of take you through some of the damage last night, kind of catch uh, some of the highlights, some of the things that we saw. What we're going to do real quick, though, is just look right now at our satellite radar picture. Not a whole lot going on. That system well off to the east. I'm going to put this on a loop, too, so you can see that line just pushing through last night. And it looked like uh, nobody was really able to escape this line. There were severe warnings up and down the entire way. Maybe uh, the impacts were a little lesser in some spots than others, but pretty much a uh, even shot for everybody as that uh, line of storms moved on in. And one thing I want to bring up, too, is the storm reports. I'm just going to kind of comb through a few of these and just kind of show you a few highlights of the uh, evening. Uh, starting down here to our south around the Effingham County area. We had uh, a couple funnel clouds reported there just south of Effingham itself, but uh, the actual tornado producing storms uh, happened up here around the uh, Shelby County, Cumberland County, and into uh, Coles County area. And you can see that one right there. That was our uh, confirmed tornado report. Also, some uh, damage to report as well uh, here in the Neogi in the Neoga area. There were uh, some semis uh, rolled over on I-57. Also, some damage done to the uh, high school and grade school. We'll show you pictures of that here in just a moment. But also want to kind of highlight uh, general damage out there in the Coles County area as well as that storm kind of moved up here through the southwest uh, corner of the county. Even up here in two parts of Champaign County did have uh, some tornado worn storms, a pair of them at one point kind of move on through this direction as well. So what I'm going to do right now is just show you some uh, damage photos. And also I got a quote from the uh, superintendent there over at the Neoga schools, uh, Kevin Harmon. He said that uh, he wants to inform everyone that early this morning, Neoga schools experienced a significant severe weather event resulting in substantial damage to both Neoga Elementary and Neoga Senior and Junior High School. First and foremost, he is relieved to report that no one was hurt or injured during this event. However, mentions at this time for the safety and well-being of everyone. We ask that all community members, staff, and students stay off school property in order for uh, respective crews to uh, take care of uh, the damages there and assess things. You're seeing a few images there of the uh, grade school and the high school as well as the uh, Ag Department out that direction as well. So just some of those uh, photos to pass along. Also one thing I want to share, our own weather garden took a hit last night. As you can see, some of our security footage uh, recorded by one of our engineers shows the fence completely blowing through. So we were not spared of the strong winds here in Champaign County either. And I do want to update people on the power Power outage numbers 50,000 across the state, including uh, 3,400 or so in Edgar County. Quick check of your seven day forecast. Not a bad day today. Still pleasant temperatures, but a little bit windy. We'll be right back.